Hi! Hello and welcome to The Grudge Report. My name's Danny and I'm your best friend on the internet. You are a lemon drop. And with many lemon drops, we can make lemonade. Before we get started with today's show, I want to invite you all to go to the link below and click on the thing and do the thing with the voting thing for ten times. Because then I will win and get a new camera and I love you and I love you and I love you. Okay, today, serious business is space. Today, I change your life. Or at least the way you have been perceiving it thus far. Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. Year one of your life equals 100% of your life. Year two of your life is 50% of your life. Year three of your life is 33.333% of your life. Actually, it's 33. Three, 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 that was a bit of an outburst. What I'm saying is that each consecutive year of your life represents a significantly smaller fraction of your life. Was that your Jack Nicholson impression? Was that, what was that? When you were a child, your life was full of new and exciting things because you hadn't lived that much. And as you get older, you find that you get into these ruts of boring things. This every day and that every day. The summers in high school just fly by. Human memories compounded over time tend to give greater significance to the younger memories because that year represented a larger portion of your life. It was 25% of your entire time on Earth, as opposed to 180th, or 150th, or 130th percentages. Everything was fresh and new. I believe it was Oscar Wilde who said, Most modern calendars mar the sweet simplicity of our lives by reminding us that each day that passes is the anniversary of some perfectly uninteresting event. That's kind of the press phase. But it doesn't have to be! <laughs> All you need to do is try new things every day. If you try new things every single day, your year will get very long. That's a lot of things to try. It could be as easy as taking a monkey and putting it in your rectums. That's not good. Why would you try that? I don't care if it's stabbing yourself in the eye. I do care if it's stabbing yourself in the eye. I want you to be able to watch your videos, so do be careful and be safe out there. Uh. Okay, I'll go first. I'm going to jump from a cliff onto a tightrope suspended over a pool of water. <laughs> Final! Modern calendars do not dictate the perfectly uninteresting events that have become our lives. Our unwillingness to jump from the rock onto the wire, however, does. Don't be scared. Try something new, face. I love you, my little lemon drops. And we're winning! We're winning! Let's keep winning. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.